So when it comes to our, myself and Mary's time, we've spent a lot of our time examining God's laws and principles. Main reason why is because it tells us more about God's nature and character and God is our favourite subject. So of course we're going to try to spend a bit of time discovering more and more about God and that's why we've spent a lot of our time understanding these principles and laws. Does that make sense? But, but do you think in 34 hours we're going to <laughs> be able to transmit that understanding? The reality is even at this stage... I can't even remember everything yet about what we've discovered. So I definitely can't share everything that I, particularly the parts that I can't remember. I'm only telling you things I can remember. Does that make sense? So, but trust me, there's a lot, you know, we could be going on for the next 25, 30 years easily discussing every single day, four or five hours a day, what I can remember. But in the end, as we grow, as Mary and I grow, there will be more we can remember. And what we're hoping to achieve is get into a state where we can not only talk about the law, but actually physically demonstrate its use and operation. That makes sense? And when that time comes, if we ever get to that time on the planet, you know, that's what we're working towards. If that, when that time comes, each of you will have a lot stronger faith then in this, in this information, won't you? because you'll actually see it in operation. Yeah, so that's our goal. And that's why we spend a lot of time working on ourselves. Now, our spirit friends just had a few comments, and I know I'm a little over time in this talk already, I think. Am I? What's my finish time? I'll just check. I'm 20 and 15. I've five minutes. I'm pretty good. I'm right on time. And what I, I just would like to say what our, spirits, our friends wanted to say to you about this particular discussion for the week. The audience must be aware of attempts to intellectualise and categorise law. The reality is we've placed these principles into categories to aid your understanding only. Does that make sense? So don't think that God's up there going, yes, I've got this love principle and uh, you know, I've got this economy principle. All we've done is we've tried to see the, from the nature of God and so from the principles that God has, we've outlined the principle and we can see the principle and there's many spirits in the spirit world, as you can imagine, particularly celestial spirits in the spirit world who are fully, their whole, a lot of their time is about you know, finding more about these things. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of information about it. And what we're trying to do here in this discussion with you is to categorise the information to present it in a simple enough manner that you can begin to grasp the basic concepts of it. Does that make sense? So don't think that in some point in the future you might not have to change some of those concepts because you definitely will. It's just we're trying to put it together in a simple, fairly comprehensively simple manner in, a, in order for you to, to aid your understanding, that's all. They said the sum total of the law is infinitely greater than the parts Jesus will be able to explain to you in the time that he has available. Now, can you see if there's an infinite amount of laws, 34 hours of discussion is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Automatically. Uh, so you can see that. God's laws have intricate workings and it cannot be assumed that the small amount of principles Jesus shares with you for the purpose of beginning your awakening to the understanding of God's loving laws are a complete discussion or even anything more than a brief introduction to the subject. Like I said, a brief <laughs> stroking of the surface, not even making a mark, really. God's design of law is far too complex to explain to the audience in their current condition. You, soul condition is the, is the important thing to gain to understand God's nature and personality, and therefore understanding God's principles, soul condition becomes the most important thing to gain. So as you grow towards God, far more will become clear to you and more truth will be understood. And we've created this group, Jesus has created this group to hopefully inspire you on the path of discovering God's laws and to demonstrate to you the wealth of truth that God has available to those who seek for it. So that's their comment to you. And we would like to, uh, like we agree wholeheartedly with their comment there, we feel quite strongly that unless you grasp that growth is required to understand, then it's going to be difficult.
for you to, to understand many of the principles we discuss.